here we go. Lower it in three, two, one. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, do I have a video for all of you guys today. What do we have here? Good afternoon, fellow Bugsters and Baguettes. Once again, you guys already know, Doug, because you clicked on the video. It is once again your boy Bug back with another banger. I don't know why I said afternoon because it is currently nighttime. It is after hours at the shop and we're going full sand because I want to bring you guys the best content. But I guess when you're watching this, depending on when you watch it, it'll be afternoon. I don't know, this whole YouTube schedule thing, it's, it's confusing. Anyways, welcome back to yet again another banger from your boy Bug. For those of you that are tuning into the channel for your first time today, I want to say thank you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Bug and I do a bunch of weird, random, automotive, funny stuff. I don't know. I just do my best to make your guys' day better and hopefully put a smile on your face and make you laugh. All of my OG subscribers already know that. And for those of you that are tuning back into the channel today was popping welcome back it is good to see you guys speaking of OGs where, where are you guys at I'm, I'm curious on who's an OG to the bug BMX channel if you are an OG go down below in the comment section and comment OG that way I can scroll through and see who the real ones are no worry though if you do want to be part of the OG squad all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and keep coming back for the new bangers like this one we are doing today now I know you guys have seen the thumbnail I know you've seen the title so now we just got to make that happen I know you guys have loved the tire videos I did, the spray foam insulation tire, I also did the wood block tire. All of you guys really seemed to enjoy those videos, so I figured I would do another one today on Clifford the Big Red Dodge. Winter is on its way. It's getting a really, really chilly. When winter comes, I do not want my wheels and tires getting destroyed by the salt, so Obviously, I gotta come up with a new wheel and tire setup, and that's what we are doing today. On a real note though, the truck is still for sale, so someone buy it before the snow hits, because I don't want to be the one that gets salt all over it. Anyways, a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know, my brother Hayden, who is right there, my brother Riken, who is right there, we are in the middle of starting our own trailer manufacturing company, which you can see one of our trailers on the jig right here. A lot of our steel, uh, welders, there's a fender. A lot, like I said, goes on behind the scenes. I'm always hustling along with my brothers. We set huge dreams and goals and we do what it takes to chase them. We've worked how many hours today, would you say? 14. 14 hours today and now I'm going on to filming just to put out another video for you guys. Some may call YouTube a job. It doesn't feel like a job to me though because I really do enjoy it. With building trailers though, we do have extra scrap still and I figured take my old scrappy stilly wheel and put more still on it and use it as a tire, take some mesh around it and just see what we can come up with. And a lot of times I will get people saying, Bug, what do you do for a living? How do you afford this truck? How do you afford this, this, and this? If you guys have the drive and ambition for something, go out there and tackle it. Like I said, YouTube, buying and selling stuff, and building trailers with my brothers. The grind does not stop because we all want great things and we're going to keep going and going and do whatever it takes to get to them. Enough of me rambling. Let's get this wheel. Grind it down, then we got our welder there. We're just gonna start taking a bunch of scrap stuff and just see if we can make somewhat of a round tire to drive on, hopefully it works. Well Hayden, with you being one of the welders with our trailer manufacturing company, how do you feel that this steel wheel with a bunch of scrap metal around it is going to perform on Clifford the Big Red Dodge, which is a very heavy truck? Like, Do you think it'll be able to drive okay? Yeah, I think it'll work pretty good. It's, it's gonna be pretty strong. Let's start fabricating, boy. Clifford is looking mighty, mighty fine in this lighting. I think you guys should go down below and drop a like for Clifford. Just do it for Clifford. Okay, all of our uprights, which are these right here that we use for the handrails of the trailer, are welded on very nicely. 
from my brother Hayden on the steel wheel. Now we have the mesh that we use for our ramp gates that we are going to place around the wheel as well. We have a bunch of random scrap pieces of that. The reason I'm putting this on is because like I mentioned earlier in this video, we are getting closer to winter and this is to help with the icy road conditions and the deep snow. Hopefully I don't get stuck using this stuff. Before we put this mesh on, I think it's only good. It's Oh, this is so heavy. Let's see how this baby does on its first roll test. This is probably going to be very noisy, um, but I'm curious to see how well it rolls. I think this might work. Another nice thing about this wheel is if I ever get too cold during this winter, I can pull over to the side of the road, pull it off, and get nice little cozy around this campfire. Now I ain't no engineer, but I think that's plenty strong enough. Figured I would give you guys a little tour of my new wheel. I know it's kind of spooky. We are going into Halloween. It is October 5th today. I knew that. Anyways, on the wheel, the structure of it, it is very, very sturdy as you can tell. So we did add the mesh because winter is in the future. It is coming and I don't want to slide out on icy condition to roads. Then you have our chains from our wrench. The wrench is in here on the tire, just kind of support to hold everything together as the wheel is moving in motion around and around. Um, then we have some more supports right here. See this little um, nut on the valve stem? I put that on there and welded it just to make sure no air ever, ever leaks out of it. And this right here is my favorite thing. If I ever get stuck, all I have to do is put my wheel next to some kind of like tree stump and just floor it and hopefully it'll just pull the wheel out. And then we got some more angle iron right here just to kind of help balance the wheel as it's spinning. But I, I'm really, really impressed with the product and the quality of this. I think it's gonna do a damn good job. This thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was I, trying so hard not to laugh while talking and holding a straight face. This is unreal. Just look at how raggedy that looks. It looks like something you'd see in the movie Mad Max, but it's not. It's on your boy Bugs, Bug BMX YouTube channel. Where else are you gonna see this stuff, boy? Honestly though, I'm kinda thinking that these right here look way, way, way better than those. And I'm very curious to see how well it drives on the truck because we will be bolting this on and driving it around. The weight distribution is all over the place on this wheel along with the tread pattern for the steel tire. Anyhow, we're gonna find out. And when I say find out, that means tomorrow because if you just open up your eyeballs and look outside, it is really dark and my camera doesn't work in the dark. So the video is gonna wrap up here. I will be coming in early tomorrow morning because I'm gonna come in tomorrow, which is gonna be Saturday. I'm gonna finish filming. I'm gonna go back home, finish editing, and post this all on the same day because my life is crazy and I'm going full send on this channel to bring you guys quality banger content. So the least you can do is like this video. Really though, I hope you guys realize the time I do put into filming videos and editing isn't just an hour and then I'm done. It's none of that. I really do spend a ton of time and I've always told you guys I will not put out a video unless I feel it is at my full potential, whether that's filming or editing. So I, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, I'm gonna wrap this up. Head on home, catch some Z's, gotta wake up nice and early to come and finish this because the grind never stops. But until then, I will see you guys very soon, it'll be like, I'll do like some little transition where I put my hand on the camera and then I open it up tomorrow. I'm like, oh, hey everyone, I'm back. Yeah, you'll see that here in just a sec. So, peace. And welcome back to now day two of this vlog. As you can tell, it is now sunny outside, which means my camera will pick up all the light. We can put on the new wheel that we built last night and fabbed up, drive it around and see how it performs. I am just too 
freaking stoked to get this thing on the back of Clifford. And then I'm going to put another wheel on Clifford, which is that one right there. That is the 2214 that I have used in all my other videos. You can actually see that foam insulation spray on it. It's all dried up and looks like crusty old mac and cheese. But that wheel will be going on the opposite side. That way the truck's not leaning to one side and you know they're about the same diameter. And yeah, time to get those on, which is, <laughs> It's a lot of work. And when I say it is a lot of work, these things are freaking tanks. They are not light wheels by any means. And I'm also the only one here today all by myself, which means it's just me taking them off and putting them back on. And just like that, you can see the all new custom wheel and tire setup is put on Clifford, the big red Dodge. Really added a lot of character to this truck. Like I mentioned earlier, I like these wheels more than the setup, but see if they perform just as good. I was saying that this job today was gonna be very difficult and a really hard workout because those wheels, which are over there, weigh a ton. Luckily though, the homie Talon rolled up. His Instagram will be right here. Definitely go check his Instagram out. Huge thanks for him for coming and getting a workout with me, lifting those off. It's, you guys, they're heavy wheels. Call me a baby if you want a wimp. I don't care, they're heavy. Did a little bit of more fabricating these uprights hung way over and was touching the leaf spring so I took the good old plasma cutter and zipped that right off so now the wheel spins freely. We also have the other 22 by 14 on this side because it's about the same diameter without a tire. We're going to drop the truck now and see how she drives. Alrighty, Bugsters and Baguettes, here we go. Lower it in three, two, one. Uh, oh yes all right to the ground that is what i'm talking about if you're gonna lower it you might as well freaking drop it <laughs> we have ran into a slight issue the jack is all the way down and it is still resting up against the rear pumpkin so now I'm, i gotta i gotta get the forklift out here lift up the truck just so we can get the jack out and then i promise we are going to drive it just one sec got the truck on the ground without the jack under it now i'm going to hop in and we're just gonna see how she goes maybe we'll do like a boosted launch only only one way to find out everyone I am speechless I have never done a video like this or the wheel whether it was the spray foam or the wood blocks neither of them worked as good as this still all of my tracks are still held up nice and good and it actually if you look real close going where I came from it works as like a paddle tire it gives me lots of traction and it works great for you know launching the truck in gravel I'm really really impressed so when I go to take this on the interstate if there's any rocks on the freeway this will just you know pick them up for people so people don't have to worry about getting rock chips because I am a good citizen like that don't you guys worry there is more where that came from. I am now going to hop back in the truck, do like a three or four point turn, whatever it'll take me to do back here. And we're gonna keep driving.
steel tire is a serious problem. It digs too good. This one on the other hand sucks. That tire, the tread on it is so good. It just wanted to keep digging me down into the core of the earth. And we're just gonna give her hell on the way out. I really don't know what to say other than that was a complete success. This wouldn't have been possible without the handy dandy wrench, the chains keeping everything tied together, my extra valve stem, and my mesh that works great in the gravel. It'll work awesome on icy conditioned roads and you just never have to worry about this stuff. We'll never have to worry about fixing a flat tire, buying new tires, I can do as many burnouts as I want, and the tires are just never ending. I highly, highly recommend you guys getting yourself a set of these bad boys. Or, for a small price of $982, I will build you this exact same setup. That's giving you a good deal. Thanks for being the man behind the lens today. Um, you excited to lift those bad boys back onto the truck? No. Well? No. I'm not either. Clifford is now back to its normal stage, sitting on the ground with its 24 by 16 fuel wheels and tires, which means the video is coming to a wrap. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I love you guys so, so much. I'm very blessed and grateful for everyone's support. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you guys. So again, pat yourselves on the back. Your boy Bug loves you and thanks you. If you guys haven't yet and enjoyed this video, make sure you scroll down and leave a fat like on it. Show me who's the part of the likes squad and the banger squad comment banger if you're about it let me know what else you guys want to see in the future what you thought of this video tell me how i'm a goober and i ruined a perfectly good truck whatever i want to hear it other than that i will see you guys in the next banger your boy bug is out i love you peace mm -hmm.